so we know you're, you're proud of your son, because you've got a daughter as well, Martin. Yep. Your favourite child, I believe. Yep. We, <laughs> yep, we keep it all in the family. In fact, Harley, Harley Moon, did the music for Weekend Best. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, Amazing. so we kind of, like, keep it inclusive. And Shirley, of course, you've been married how many years, Shirley? Oh, my goodness. We've been, we've been together over 40. Wow, 40 and, years. And uh, we've been married about 32 years now. And was it George Michael brought you together? Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean, um, well, he came on the first date. You know, I so, mean, this uh, is that's quite weird, isn't it? Yeah, it was very weird. <laughs> and were you picking between the two of them? Yeah, <laughs> that's the story he doesn't tell. That's the truth. <laughs> and I don't know which way I'm gonna go. <laughs> they both seem nice. Yeah. It was very weird because I arranged to meet Shirley at the Camden Palace. Yeah, uh, I remember it well. And as I'm walking down towards the Camden Palace, I see Shirley standing there with her mate. Right? And you're thinking, oh, no, she's brought a wingman. That's the last <laughs> thing you need on your first date. Yeah. Wow. But it was George Michael. So we get to the palace, and uh, Shirley and I, like, first date, we're trying to get on our own to do a little bit of snogging and... and... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just to do, you know, what you do on a first date. And George was all over it. We couldn't get rid of him to save our lives, right? But, but George he... complained to Shirley afterwards, didn't he? Yeah, of course he did, that we were snogging too much. Yeah. Well, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly... The old man, the old lady couldn't no. keep their hands Honestly, off each other. You have no idea. Here's a quote from the book that uh, Martin and Shirley brought out. This is what Shirley said about the first night they met. She said, Suddenly Martin was right in front of me, smiling at me. I'd felt embarrassed about not having any makeup on, but Martin was wearing enough for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> She goes on to say how polished he looked and his, his hair was teased and backcombed into a sort of sculpture. He must have spent longer getting ready that evening than I had during every night of my life put together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gave her my number that night for the first time and uh, it took her three weeks to call me. Nice. Right? Wow. And I thought, oh, no, it's the makeup. It's all over. Yeah. And then she tells a story that she is in... Uh, she's been rehearsing with George, dancing, working out dance routines in his bedroom. And George is so fed up that she hasn't, hasn't called me that he picks up the phone, dials the number and hands the phone to her wow. to speak to me. So, yeah, you're right, you brought us together. But she obviously found you attractive. Was she nervous? Did she think maybe you... I think she did probably think you were more sophisticated than you were or more sophisticated than... No, her. she just... I, you know what? I think she was scared about going out with a pop star. 